बसमीम अल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू रिज्यूम आवर स्टडीज़ होप यू आर फाइन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग पॉज द वीडियो ब्रिंग योर नोट बुक बुक एंड हाईलाइटर नाउ स्टार्ट हाईलाइटिंग विद मी आई विल रीड द लेसन फॉर यू एंड एक्सप्लेन द लेसन एंड यू विल हाईलाइट इन ऑन योर बुक एज वेल ओके एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर इन द क्लास दैट दिस टाइम यू विल हैव ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द पेपर फ्राम द बुक रीडिंग सो यू हैव टू हाईलाइट दीज लाइन्स एंड रिमेंबर दीज लाइन्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नाइन ड्राॅइंग टूल्स इन फ्लैश सी एस थ्री इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न ड्राॅइंग टूल्स रीशेपिंग लाइन्स एंड शेप्स now i'm going to start uh, reading from page number 133 you can open your book as well in the last chapter you learned about the components of the flash windows setting document properties drawing modules and selection tools in this chapter you will be introduced to the tools uh, used for creating and modifying objects in flash cs3 as discussed earlier each shape can consist of an outline called the stroke or line and a fill which is the inside of the shape flash allows you to choose the colors for the stroke and the fill figure 9.1 shows um, a circle with stroke color red and fill color yellow flash allows you to select the stroke and the fill separately In figure 9.2 the stroke and the fill of the figure have been separated now we have two images drawing tools before you create animation you first need to create different types of graphics these graphics can range from the very basic to high complex shapes and lines uh, creating different types of graphic is possible with the use of drawing tools Here are drawing tools available in Flash CS3. You can see line tool, pencil tool, ink bottle tool and eye dropper tool. In book it's indicated wrong. You can correct it. Rectangle tool, brush tool, paint bucket tool and eraser tool. The line tool is used to draw straight lines. Tap to use the line tool. Uh, in paint you can also draw the lines and the same way we will draw lines here in uh, flash cs3 but here we have few advanced features available select the line tool in the tool panel second step in the property inspector panel choose the stroke uh, color and stroke style step number 3 set the line thickness by typing a number in the stroke height box or by clicking on the row next to it and moving the slider step number 4 click on the stage and drag to draw the line uh, open page number 135 uh, drawing rectangle and ovals the rectangle tool menu can be used to draw simple rectangle and ovals highlight this line which tool is used rectangle tool on clicking the arrow at the lower right corner of the tool flash provides you with the various option regarding the tool as shown in the figure uh, you can see in on your book as well as on the next slide i will show you now we are going to go through with the rectangle tool uh, when you click on the uh, small arrow uh, beside the rectangle tool you will see this list uh, rectangle tool are uh, used to draw simple rectangle and specify strokes and fills uh, oval tool o used to draw an oval uh, even oval and circle as well rectangle primitive tool are uh, drawing uh, um, is used to draw um, draws rectangle and defines additional properties such as rounded corners uh, oval primitive tool o is used to draw um, an oval with additional properties such as uh, start end angle 
in um, inner radius etc uh, polymer star tool is used to draw polygon or star shapes rectangle tool steps to create simple uh, rectangle or square shape using the rectangle tool uh, number 1 select the rectangle tool simple one not the primitive one the second step select the stroke color and the fill color from the property inspector panel now third step is select the thickness for the line and line style from the property inspector panel fourth step fourth and last step click and drag uh, to draw the rectangle you can change the radius of the corners of the rectangle in the property inspector There are four slider buttons one for each corner by default three slider buttons are not highlighted by setting the radius in one button you can set same radius for all the corners then click and drag uh, drag to draw the rectangle with rounded corners here are the steps to change the radius of the corners of a rectangle Step number 1 set the radius in one slider button to select the same radius for all corners click and drag to draw rectangle with rounded corners here are the steps to set different radius values for all the corners of a rectangle step number 1 click the lock button in the property inspector to enable all slider buttons Step number 2 set different radius values for all of all the corners of a rectangle you can also set a negative value to uh, to get inverse radius inverse radius means your um, corner will be uh, rounded inner side inside here is the example uh, in the, uh, step number uh, the figure number 3 then click and drag uh, to draw rectangle with different radii for each corner now we will do descriptive type question same as we used to do in the uh, class you have to do these questions in the in your notebook write names of the eraser tool modifier you can find it out on page number 134 second question is differentiate between the rectangle tool and the primitive rectangle tool You can write in your own words. I am going to dictate you a sample answer. When we draw a rectangle with rounded corners, we first have to specify the radius for the corners and then draw the shape. After drawing the shape, we cannot modify the radius. But if we use primitive rectangle tool, then we can modify the radius after drawing the shape 